Hi everyone, my name is David McCamus from Amazon Web Services. We're here today to talk a little bit about building a big data practice on AWS. The first place we're going to start is with a look at the AWS Big Data and Analytics Services. Amazon Web Services provides a broad range of services to help partners build and deploy big data and analytics applications quickly and easily. AWS gives you fast access to flexible and low-cost IT resources so you can rapidly scale virtually any big data application. This could include data warehousing, clickstream analytics, fraud detection, recommendation engines, and event-driven ETL and more. With AWS, you don't need to make a large upfront investment in time or money to build and maintain infrastructure. Instead, you can provision exactly the right type and size of resources you need to power big data and analytics applications. You can access as many resources as you need almost instantly and only pay for what you use. When we look at how analytics have traditionally been developed and deployed, you may have had multiple databases and systems of record, and those relational databases would store large volumes of data that business users would want to analyze. We'd work with the business to develop a data warehouse, and in that data warehouse, we'd build tables that held facts, dimensions, and measures, and that data warehouse would be used to drive operational and ad hoc reporting and dashboards. If we looked at how those data warehousing projects worked, to set up a data warehouse, you needed to spend a lot of money up front, and then running costs could be from ten to $50,000 per terabyte per year. But recently, we've seen customers embrace new, modern data architectures, and one of those architectures is a data lake. A data lake can contain relational and non-relational data and scale from terabytes to exabytes worth of data. What makes data lakes unique is that the schema is defined during analysis. With a data lake, many different services, tools, and analytical engines can be used to gain insights into the data it contains. Data lakes are also designed to take advantage of low-cost storage to drive more analytics and rapid innovation. When we look at data lakes on AWS, we use S3 as the basis of our data lake. S3 is our durable object storage service, which has a number of different ways you can bring data in, from a command line, through APIs, through streaming data, or native integration from your preferred ETL or data orchestration tool. S3 provides unmatched durability and availability at an exabyte scale, and the compliance, security, and audit capabilities are all built in. Using S3 as the basis of your data lake means that you can run any analytics on the same data without actually moving the data around. At the same time, you can scale storage and compute independently. This means that this new data lake architecture is very cost effective. You can store data from two cents per gigabyte per month and query that same data for around five cents per gigabyte scanned. So the amazing thing about all of these new data architectures is that there's a tremendous opportunity for AWS partners to help our customers build these solutions. For partners, there are three main areas where AWS customers are seeking help. First of all, customers need technical assistance for system architecture and design. They also may need assistance to develop security, compliance, and governance controls. They may need you to help them with data warehouse migrations and data warehouse development, as well as creating data pipelines, ETL jobs, and doing development around getting the data into the platform. You also may need to help customers build big data platforms, do machine learning, AI development, and the list goes on and on. Our customers are seeking the technical skills and expertise that you have to deliver on these types of engagements. Customers also need advisory and managed services. Customers frequently will have a lot of data and not know what to do with it. Our partners are crucial to helping customers develop their own data and analytics strategy and really dive deep on how to start driving business outcomes using all of the data they've collected. Our customers also need help with project planning and management. For some of our customers, it will be the first time they've migrated a data warehouse to AWS, for instance. They always say it's easier to do something if you've already done it once, and our AWS partners bring the skills and expertise from doing these projects over and over and over again. Another area where partners are key is through ongoing managed services. This is great for partners who are skilled at cloud infrastructure and application migration. You can deliver a lot of value to customers by offering proactive monitoring, automation, and management of their big data and analytics environment. 
And finally, staff augmentation, where our customers simply just don't have enough technical skilled resources within their own organization. We need partners. Partners have the skills, expertise, and the industry knowledge to accelerate our customers' journey to the cloud. So this is your opportunity. We're at a unique time in the IT industry where there's some fundamental shifts in the way IT services are delivered to customers. And nowhere is that shift more evident than in big data and analytics. So this is your chance to seize the opportunity and I'm here to help you do that. We've come up with a five-step plan to help you build your big data and analytics practice and it breaks down into five easy steps. Planning, ramp up, lighthouse customers, replication, and scale. So step one, you need to develop and commit to a business plan. This is where you develop your plan on how you're going to go to market as an AWS big data and analytics partner. There's some factors that will shape your plan. You need to start thinking about these things, like what are your existing strengths? Do you already work with other big data and analytics tools? Are you currently building data warehouses, ETL pipelines, dashboards on another platform? A lot of the knowledge you have about data and analytics is transferable to AWS. Probably most important, how do you plan to make a profit? Is it through consulting services, a packaged solution, a managed service? And who are your customers going to be? Are you going to target large enterprise customers, mid-market, government, or public sector? Another important question is, what are your customers asking for? And this is very important to AWS. Listening to that voice of the customer is the most powerful way to understand what customers want. So you need to get out there and talk to prospective customers and understand some of the pain points that they're experiencing and what business outcomes they're trying to deliver. Where are your leads going to come from? When you throw the doors open on day one of your big data practice, chances are there will not be a line of customers waiting outside. Unless you're offering free tacos, and then there might be a line, and I might be in it. Um, you need to think about where your leads are going to come from. From trade shows, user groups, meetups, advertising on the internet, sponsoring events, email marketing. Um, and what are your gaps? What are you not good at? Uh, and what are you good at? And what assistance will you need to make this business successful? Step two, you've got to ramp up your skills and certifications. You've got to have the skills to pay the bills. AWS customers will be relying on you for your technical expertise. When we look at training for your technical team, they need to have a core knowledge of AWS. So we have some core AWS training that's either e-learning or instructor-led training. Since you're going to become a big data partner, we also have a big data on S training course, which is a three-day instructor-led training course that provides hands-on experience with the AWS data and analytics services. We also have data warehousing on AWS, which again is another three-day course, specifically targeting Redshift and giving you some hands-on experience building data warehouses. On the certification front, most people start with the AWS Certified Solution Architect at the associate level, and then on top of that, we do have the AWS Certified Big Data Specialty. So when we look at skills for your sales team, we have an AWS solution training for partners around big data and analytics, and that's going to help teach your sales team how to position and sell the AWS Big Data and Analytics Services. Your sales team will also need to learn how to identify and qualify big data and analytics opportunities. Now this involves, when we're talking with customers or prospects, diving deep. And we'll find that conducting workshops and discovery engagements will lead to successful proof of concepts and very happy customers. Uh, now when we look at your marketing team, there's also some skills to learn there. They need to learn about AWS and define and promote a packaged offering around your AWS solution. So they need to learn about the AWS services, the market you're working in, and a packaged offering is a good foot in the door. Often these will have a fixed time period and a fixed price, and it's something that's easily digestible for con consumers where we can sell that package. And I find with consulting, if you sell that package in there, you're doing some consulting, you do a great job, they're going to ask you back. In the next step, you need to win those Lighthouse customers. My granny used to say, if you can't find at least one person to say something nice about you, you're in trouble. Um, and Lighthouse customers provide customer references for you. Um, so we want to identify a customer where you have a high level of trust, and we want to pick a workload to develop for them that has a high chance of success. So you really need to dive deep with the customer and understand what outcome they're trying to drive, and then have a crack team deliver an amazing result. Now, don't be shy when you're working with customers. Always ask for a public reference so you can talk about the work you have done there 
with other customers. Having references also helps you achieve the AWS Service Delivery Program and differentiate your business by demonstrating your AWS Service expertise. The next step is that you need to replicate and refine your plan and offering. You need to take a hard look at what's working and what's not working. And this is a great chance for you to refine your offering, adding new services, new features. It's also a great opportunity for you to cross-sell into more customers. If that same package solution was successful in one customer, chances are there are some other customers facing the same challenges. This is also your opportunity to execute campaigns to drive more leads and opportunities. Now, they don't have to be huge marketing campaigns that cost the world. It could be a simple email campaign. It could be an event held in your office. You could host a meetup or a user group. Everyone you meet and talk to needs to go into a CRM system or a customer database. And having those contacts will help you market your business and develop more leads and opportunities. And finally, Ask for and document more customer reference. There is nothing more powerful than the voice of the customer, especially when they're saying good things about working with you. And lastly, we need to look at scaling your consulting business. So have a look at further developing your practice through the AWS Managed Service Provider and Big Data Competency Programs. Competency programs are a way for partners to demonstrate their technical expertise and proven customer success in these specialized solution areas, and these partners are heavily promoted by AWS. We also need to look at developing additional solutions in more focused areas, i.e. vertical industries, specific analytic problems, um, anywhere you see a need. Scaling your business also means going into a continuous cycle of hiring and training, where you're hiring the best people and providing them the opportunity to learn and be curious. You'll also need to add new packaged offerings as new services and new problems arise from customers and the associated marketing plans. And finally, drive more customer wins because we want your business to grow. You might be asking, how do you actually get started? Well, for this, there's three simple steps. First and foremost, get cracking on that business plan. You need to start building your business plan and start to define your offering. Secondly, you need to commit to it. We want to assign resources and dates to ramping up your skills and certifications. And the, finally, the third step is to reach out to the AWS partner team in your region if you're interested in building your own big data and analytics practice on AWS. The most unique things about 47 Lining are our team and our process to realize value from complex data. We help our customers design a serverless architecture by starting with our enterprise data lake reference architecture. We pull in the right AWS big data services such as Amazon Kinesis, AWS Lambda, and Amazon Redshift, orchestrating the usage of the right tool for the right job within our customer's data flow. 47 Lining advises customers that seek a serverless architecture to start small with a pilot or a proof of concept. This bounds their risk, and once validated, we can pull in additional AWS services consistent with an overall reference architecture. Many of 47 Lining's customers take advantage of AWS's global reach to drastically reduce the cost of their approach to disaster recovery. Because they can deploy a serverless architecture in multiple regions and scale up only when needed, their DR costs plummet. We believe the AWS Service Delivery Program will help 47 Lining identify customers with very specific needs, like scaling Amazon Redshift to ingest a billion rows per day, or maybe even building a flexible data lake for Amazon EMR-based descriptive, predictive, or real-time analytics. The AWS Service Delivery Program will help customers navigate to those APN partners that have made the investments that are required to use the AWS Big Data Services that are most critical in their solutions. At North Bay, working with customers over the last year, we've seen many trends emerge, including the rise of the enterprise reaching the point where they can do predictive and machine learning workloads, including recommendations, predictive analytics, price forecasting, and many other use cases with AWS machine learning. As an advanced AWS consulting partner, the AWS platform really enables us to get to work on solving customer problems. We build solutions around data platforms, analytical workloads, big data and predictive use cases, 
all on AWS. Leveraging AWS for analytics has a lot of benefits. It clearly comes with the agility. It clearly allows for the scale that's needed. And it clearly leverages the cloud economics for pricing. At North Bay, as part of the APM, we decided to apply for the AWS Services Delivery Program because we believe in the benefits that it brings. These include training and competence development for our team, and it includes uh, working with the sales team to develop customers and many other benefits. Additionally, there was great support from both AWS personnel and the AWS partner environment that we could avail ourselves of. We really believe that for our customers, the AWS Service Delivery Program brings the confidence to them that they are working with a partner with the right competence and skills. Now, if you want to gain more confidence and hands-on experience with AWS, you can access the digital training built by the AWS experts. You can also attend our instructor-led classes taught by qualified AWS instructors and learn how to design, deploy, and operate highly available, cost-effective, and secure applications on AWS. For more information about partnering with AWS, go visit the AWS APN booth at our showcase and chat with the partner team. Finally, I'd like to thank you for attending today and sticking out to the very end. Good luck building your big data practice, and I hope to see you soon.